Hello everyone, this is Denise and welcome to the Hypergamous Journey. So I decided to just come in and come home and make a video while it was fresh in my mind. So last week was my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Last week was my birthday and I wanted to go to this particular restaurant and they have a few all over town and one is in my neighborhood like 10 minutes away and then there's one in a more upscale neighborhood and so they have a live band on Tuesday night so I just came in from going there or being there so that's why I have this scarf on in my jacket and it's a different look than I normally do so here I am and now the lighting on my um, <laughs> phone is blinking like we had the 1970s disco so okay so I wanted to go there because they have a live band so when I I went to the wrong place I couldn't find it and so I found out that the restaurant is attached to a hotel but you can see it from a side street but it's not on the main street with which is what the address says so anyway, I found it, I went in, and so it wasn't like I thought, which was sort of, I was thinking like a restaurant with dim lights and a band, but the lights were bright and the band was, play, was um, playing and they, 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 they sounded pretty good. And the bar is kind of, de it's attached, but it's kind of secluded. So I read somewhere, I think Shira Seven on YouTube said to go to, when you go out alone, to sit at the bar because it signals availability. If you sit at a table, the person who might want to say something to you might think that you're waiting for a date or someone else and not approach. So I sat at the bar and I waited and I waited. And I waited again, and I waited some more. And the lady who was manning the bar saw me, we made eye contact, I sat down, we made eye contact, but she was complaining about something. And I said, well, you know, she'll get to me eventually. So I sat down and I waited, and I waited some more. And I think I must have waited two minutes, three minutes. And so the people at the bar ha are eating, and I'm like, I think I'll have what they're, what they're having. So I had to say to her, excuse me, can I order here or should I order somewhere else? And she said, I'll be right with you. So she continued making drinks, ringing up uh, drinks and getting receipts and tickets and stuff for another three to four minutes. So by this time, I'm thinking I've been sitting here for at least five to seven minutes and this woman has not taken my order. So finally, she comes to me after she's made 20 drinks and rung up, you know, 20 tabs. She finally comes to me and I have a question about the people, what they're eating next to me. And she points to it and I said, I have a question. She said, okay, I'll be back. And then she continued to ring up some more receipts or tabs and make some more drinks. So finally, I said, I'll, she came back to me and I said, I'll have what they're having. And she said, okay. But she didn't go to put it in the, in the uh, register so that it could go to the kitchen. She didn't do that. She went back to get tickets for more drinks. So I got up. And as I was getting up, the couple that came behind me, the man got up to say, excuse me, we'd like to order. And she said, I'll be right with you. So I got up and I went to the, the host, the people who seat you. And I said, what's her name? Because I am going to report her. <laughs> I usually don't like to do that but I'm going to report her to headquarters because this is a chain and they have a lot. Of, well, I think they have at least three locations. So I'm going to report her because there was no reason for me to sit for five to seven minutes to take, to get, to place my order. 
None. She's just ringing up the tabs and making drinks. She doesn't want to be there. So that's why I hurried home to do that and um, to let you know. Oh, and the other thing, let me get to the main thing. I'm venting now. But the other thing is that I went there because it's someplace new. It's someplace different. I went alone and I sat at the bar because that signals availability to anyone who um, wants to approach me. Well, any man who wants to approach me. So I went alone. I sat at the bar. I was going to order an uh, entree and have dinner there. So I ended up leaving after I placed my order and she didn't ring me up so that it get to the kitchen. I just left. And I'm definitely going to report her. So I just want to say to ladies, do not be afraid to go to different places or a different part of town. At first, it's scary, but you can do it. Just get it in your mind that it's a new experience and you're going to take it for what it is and you're not going to be discouraged and discouraged and not go because of your fear, because you're uncomfortable. Push through your fear, push through the uncomfortableness of it and go and go alone so that you can be open to meeting new people and possibly the love of your life. Thank you for watching. My name is Denise. This is The Hypergamous Journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And of course, I have the Amazon statement journals available. Check them out. Bye.